1922 peace dollar worth $368,000 plus. This is an amazing piece of history. And we're going to talk about that in this video. So stay tuned. But first, here's my coin help you community. If you need help with a coin, post your images over here and ask a detailed question and we'll help you out at coin help you community. Okay. So here we have it. It is a 1922 modified high relief production trial J-2020. So this is a unique example. And what happened was is 3,200 of these were struck in modified high relief because the high relief dies would fail. Well, these dies failed after 3,200 of them were struck. This, it was marked as the 3,200, the last one struck with those dies. So this one graded as MS 65. So this one's up on Minshall Trading, uh, VC Coins, Minshall Trading, US Coins, Peace Dollar. That's the, you can see the, what they call the kind of the breadcrumbs here. And they have it listed for $368,750 add to cart. So they're trying to sell it for that much. Does that mean it's worth that much? Uh, if someone hasn't bought it yet, it's kind of hard to argue either way. But it is a very valuable piece of numismatic history. It is uh, CAC. It has a CAC sticker on it. But anyway, we can also take a look at the Modified High Relief Production Trial. This is the proof only mintage is 10 but only one are known to exist and when you're looking over at pcgs you want to scroll down and you want to look at the information ron guth wrote this information he said currently the only known example in proof format is the coin illustrated above which came from raymond t baker estate and was referenced in a 1922 letter from the mint superintendent free Steyer to Mint Director Raymond T. Baker. I beg to submit herewith three peace dollars struck from the die in reduced relief and the sandblasted pieces were the first strike. The coin was struck on the metal press to bring up the full details of the design. A second example of this die variety was struck on a regular production press and bears the ink notation 3200 in the left obverse field. This was the last coin struck before the dies failed. They melted them. Now, that doesn't mean there's not one out there, okay? Because there was an example found of a modified high relief and it was circulated. And this is where people run into problems. It's a high relief coin. The, the actual toning or patina of the coin is not what makes this a modified high relief. And I will show you some coins and, and show you what I'm talking about. And... You can look at other examples, like this is the proof of when we were just looking at it, sold for $325,000, which kind of justifies the price of the other one in a sense, because if they're unique examples and those grades, obviously they're going to be worth some money. This one shows what it was wrapped in. That's kind of cool. That's why it toned. I mean, it was obviously reacted to the uh, paper it was wrapped in. So we have these examples that have been found and this one's au50 i'm sure some of you've heard of this one when something like this is discovered people go crazy they're like oh my goodness i got one that looks just like that well no you really don't and that's the thing with me if you think you have one i'm not your guy because this has to be sent off it has to be looked at in hand by a person who's actually uh, has the the pay grade to examine stuff like this and i don't so i don't i'm not interested in them at all unless i think i might have found one then i would send it off that's how i would do it so anyway, let's take a look at a few coins here, and I want to show you some peace dollars that look very similar to this one here. We're going to take a look. So here's a little box of peace dollars that I have. Let's see if some of these look a little different. I mean, that one looks a little different, has a scratch on it. Um, you know, but it's not. It's not a high relief. It's not the same one. I don't have a really good picture. Here's another example of toning on a, a coin uh, that's typical and I have some polished examples in here <laughs> here's some other examples really cleaned and beat up and coins tone in all kinds of different patinas you, you just it, it, from experience I see all these coins all the time that has a similar patina to that AU50 there and you can see the the similarity it's not about the toning though that's that's what people 
mix up and we'll take a look here you can look at it and you can see you see the similarities as far as the patina is concerned and that's not what you're looking for okay i know people get excited and they think oh i found it i've got it i've got to have one and this is like that grandpa's you know long time collection and been in a vault for i don't know how long or the safe i, I wish it was that easy <laughs> But you really have to have someone look at the coin in hand. Someone who is definitely a professional is qualified to do so. So it appears that a few of these was released into circulation and circulated. Um, the net state ones. So it's always possible that, you know, someone looking through bags might find one. I mean, like I said, it's one of those deals that <laughs> this could be the only one that was out there. And someone just happened to pick it up after circulating all these years. So thanks for watching my latest video. Please like, share, and comment, and have a great day.